Police believe Jody Thompson DeVries was the first homeless woman Christopher Martell killed on September 14th. A few days later, three other people stabbed, one of them fatal. I don't have the ability to comprehend that level of evil. Jody Thompson DeVries was stabbed while asleep outside this church on University Avenue. She was found by church staff the next morning. As long as she was alive, there was still hope. She's not alive anymore. I mean, my heart will keep her alive, but you know, that's, that hope is gone for her. Hope shattered on September 14th. Judy Ferguson and her brother Wade were together when they got the news of their sister's murder. A brutal, savage attack was perpetrated on my sister. I mean, in my, we had fears, of course, something would happen. Never in my wildest dreams would, would I have, what would I have imagined that this could occur to her. Days later on September 20th, another homeless woman was killed. A day after, two more people stabbed a male and a female. These two in critical condition. Homeless people are often targeted because they're, they're easier to access. Less people around, maybe less people who might be following up or interested in solving what's going on. There is a lot of opportunity folks see in that population. That's why they're often targeted and victimized, just because of the nature of how, of how they live and where they are in their circumstances. Dr. Timothy Yider is a psychiatrist in Las Vegas. So victims sometimes will be a very specific target. In trying to understand the crimes that police believe Martel committed, I asked him, why a stabbing? And why these victims? Sometimes victims is a surrogate for a different personal relationship. And your victim might be one of more opportunity. What's different about stabbings is that it's usually a more up close, more personal kind of attack on someone. When you get into the dynamics of male versus female, that again is a lot of times dependent on who your, your perpetrator is, what their goals or intents or desires might be related to what that specific crime is. As the investigation into the crimes continues, the mystery surrounding a motive remains. We don't, we don't know, and I will find out because that's, I'm her twin sister, that's, that's what I need to do for her. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Paulina Bootska.